have time to say a word or two. I guess I could be the last 10 years. <clears throat> I've only known Ed uh, the past six years uh, when uh, my wife Cindy and I joined the church and very shortly thereafter uh, uh, joined the worship choir. And I guess the, the memory I would share um, is every once in a while at rehearsal on Sunday morning before uh, service, uh, Nancy Combs would break out and, and, and say, you know, just how amazed we should all be and thankful for the professional voice lessons that we were receiving as part of our, as part of our, our rehearsal. And so I, I, on behalf of all of us, I thank you for all of the times when you uh, shared not only your talent, but your professional knowledge of, of uh, singing and what it, what it means to, uh, to uh, perform uh, vocally. Um, now, I have uh, something that's just a, a little token of uh, uh, appreciation from the congregation by, on behalf of the session that I'd like to present you in, uh, in, in, a, in a poor attempt to thank you for a 54-year ministry, but, uh, but we hope it'll be, uh, it, it, that you'll enjoy it. Thank you. You're welcome. Should I open this now? Uh, it's, not, it's always up to the recipient, but sure, by all means. And while he's opening the, the gift from the church, uh, remind, I want to say thank you and express appreciation for many of you who have given to Ed's retirement fund. Uh, no, we don't have the total amount yet that will be given, but uh, if you have not yet done that, there is still time to do that, and we will uh, present that to him at a later time. But uh, in advance of uh, some of the gifts, and thank you for the other gifts that have been received. And how you doing? Ed, do you need any help with this? <laughs> it is breakable. <laughs> I will tell you that much. Thank you so much for your gifts and one more thank you from everyone here.